Hey guys, it's going to be kind of noisy in here. I wanted to show you guys, um, I'm working on, and I probably won't publish this video until these um, journaling um, packs are, are completed, but this is how my kids start, um, <clears throat> you know, just a simple, let's see, what motivated this one? I got this cool uh, teal fabric from Carla. It started off with this fabric that I found at a resale shop. And it got me thinking that Christmas could be in sort of a different color. Like, I think a blue winter Christmas is always fine and, and beautiful and unique. But I also think that when I was looking at this, it would be kind of cool to sort of bring in, you know, a wintry feel to this, but also moving from fall to winter. So I have that, and there's quite a bit of it there, and you're going to hear my big baby boy, Bishop, because he doesn't like anybody. <laughs> oh my God, his nickname is Security. Um, and then I have this beautiful teal fabric from Carla. And then recently I found these pretty blue hand crochet trim pieces and this rickrack just thrown down into some a bag of sewing goodies right and it's got that cream and blue and then this green will pull in kind of foliage and again my whole thought is that sort of moving from fall to winter this may be a little iffy I'll decide at the end and then I found this gorgeous spool of this bluish gray and the colors just it's not gonna look like what I see on the camera it looks like a, a baby blue but in person, it's kind of like a beautiful, um, the Grogain, um, kind of like a storm blue. I don't know, stormy clouds. That's kind of what this whole thing reminds me of. And then I started digging through stuff, and I love this cover um, of the, you know, this North American uh, mammals. And it's got all these stickers in here. And so if I'm thinking about winter and woodlands, that kind of thing. I might pull some pages from this, but I love the color of, of the, the these greens and blues and um, that kind of thing. And I love this, um, the ramas, the tree limbs. Um, I just have a blue library card here that's for inspiration, I suppose. It might find its way in one of these packs as, as um, ephemera. And then here I've got these pretty little brads. And, Again, the colors, you'll see what I'm going to do here. These colors here, they, they start to move into this pretty teal winter blues. And there's some laces. And then, guys, I dyed some paper with, I made some black beans for dinner with um, black beans with nopal. Um, it's a cactus. And it's so good. Anyway, that's another story, another time. Anyway, I saved the black bean juice, and I've done this before. The first time I did this, I sent the papers to a young lady in uh, Oregon or California. I forget, but she's on the West Coast. She loves for me to send her all my messed up, grungy papers. And for her, the grungier, the better. And so I made black beans again, and I went ahead and dyed these. And, the, and you're not going to see the, the beautiful blue. And this really does look like, like a um, sort of a sky that has a tornado brewing or some kind of storm brewing off at a distance. Just beautiful, beautiful color. The only thing is, is that when you dry this, remember, because it's dyed with beans, right? So you may have to hit it with, um, I don't know, like a lavender spray or something or just let it set out for a little while. Um, it doesn't smell... Um, terribly bad to me but some you know there might be somebody who's picky about that kind of thing it just smells like dyed paper but it's dyed with beans so there you have it okay hi guys I'm making some black beans today tonight this evening because the weather has somewhat cooled down and we love black beans and I've done this before every time I start to I soak the black beans first and I start to pour the water off and I'm like oh wait the water it's a dark color I should try and dye paper with that and there's probably even a black bean in there maybe 
I think there might be one in there. I don't know. But anyway, I dyed some before with black bean water. The water off the black beans. And I... Maybe, okay, I was trying to get it, grab one, but no, it's just a bubble. So anyway, I sent those, um, these, the papers that I did before to a lady who loves, a, a young lady here in the States who, who loves grunge. And um, I just, I did it again. The mistake I made was because I'm cooking and thinking and thinking and thinking about my cooking, um, what I need for this. There's a black bean speck right there. Can you see that? Can you see it? Anyway, um, I just decided that I better do it again. And so the mistake I made was pouring the water off, not thinking that I should save the water again. So anyway, I managed to think about it and went, oh, don't forget, save that water from the black beans soaking because you can use that to dye the papers again. So yes. And if you, the color on my, on my, um, here it's very different than here here it looks more bluish grayish here it looks more teal with the vintage yellowing across here you, you're not going to be able to see that at all <clears throat> so anyway all right I thought I would share that I'll probably insert this in some video somewhere I don't know anyway black beans save the water when you soak them before you cook them because it's awesome and natural Bye. And then I found these beautiful soft blue laces in my stash. There's two of those, so I'm kind of inspired by that as well. Just sort of getting it going. And then, oh, and then there's um, this pretty blue. Now you can really see how this is. This is a gray blue, a smoky blue lace. So I'll stick that here and that'll go in there. Sorry guys, I got the sniffles because my allergies are horrible. They're just awful. Oh my God, they're so bad, but I'm, I'm dealing. Um, and then there's some goals. So I thought maybe the goals for the winter moving into fall, uh, I'm sorry, autumn theme moving into a Christmassy winter blue. Okay. And then these are brads. I showed you those. And then, oh, and here's some green ribbon. That's a really true Christmas green sash, satin, uh, silky sash ribbon. It's really nice, that one. And, you know, those are really pretty. Again, bringing in those colors, the greens and the blues. Just, you know, just little moments of inspiration on my table here. And then I found this came from my great auntie's estate. I've talked about it before. I've sold a, pe a really good piece of it. Um, a while back it's stunning and guys I have no idea I said it before a long time ago and I'm gonna say it again I have no idea why my aunt my Amy my great auntie she's my grandmother's sister why she had this I don't remember her making anything out of this as a child unlike a lot of her other patterns that um... oh I can't grab it you know how I like to grab stuff and show you but it's in another room so uh, but anyway, this is beautiful, and I showed it before. It's got these pretty fall colors with these teal blues. The blues on here on the camera are probably not going to look as grayish blue um, as they are, sort of like this blue here. So I'm putting um, a lot, well, uh, you know, a good deal of this in there so that you can get a good journal cover or two maybe three and look at that I love these grays and these blues and dark um, that's almost like a midnight blue and I use the old school terms for colors nowadays they call browns tobacco browns and coffee or not coffee but tobacco and I don't know all kinds of, of stuff and then here's the numbers here nine seven eight so those of you who are seamstresses and quilters you guys may know what that's that is I don't I don't know what that means anyway um, I had a large large piece of this and I sold it um, and so let me just show you across here it says copyright USA uh, Fifth Avenue design 
100% pure imported linen that dyes screen printed. Okay. And for those of you who are seamstresses and quilters and sewers, um, you know what that means. That's like a foreign language to me. I don't care. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I'm just saying it now. Okay, so there's that, right? Isn't that pretty? So while I was putting, looking at that and sort of thinking again about bringing, moving from fall into sort of a winter cold season, Christmas, time or just winter it could be Christmas it could be winter then I started to look at these colors as well and these are the leaves that came from some of that came out of this box here <clears throat> okay and I found these I told you guys I got these leaves I bought this fall season um centerpiece from an estate sale that my mom and I went to I'm still working on putting that footage together I just don't have a lot of time right now even this is a hot minute and I mean the minute it's hot <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying it now it's a hot minute I got here um, and, and that's not a complaint that's I'm that's actually I'm very proud <laughs> that I am gainfully employed and have a real job um, anyway I mean we all have real jobs I'm not saying Anyway, you guys know what I mean. You guys know me by now. You know what I mean. And so anyway, um, these fall colors, I think, would be really pretty against these blues. If you look at them here, look how pretty that is. And so, and you can't see how this green, like, really goes pretty with these gray and stormy color blues, right? So that's my whole thing. Um with this what else is I going to tell you guys I have I have a, some hauls I hauled a bunch of stuff but I don't have time for that I wait let me show you something hold on okay I'm not done with this I'm still talking about this you see how my brain goes from what oh this is what I wanted to say look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous and so if you put these colors together can you guys see where my brain is going can you see Yes, yes. This is how my kids start. Can you guys see where I'm going with this? It's amazing. And I'm actually going to put in more fabric, okay? So, I'm, But I'm going to be very picky and specific. So it's going to be a piece of this, my great, my Annie's uh, fabric. I don't know what in the world. I wish I could ask her what was she doing with this I asked my mom and my mom doesn't know either my mom's not a, a seamstress either only my grandmother my great grandmother my grandmother and my great Annie were seamstresses and so anyway you can kind of see where the colors where I'm headed with this so it's going to be like a stormy gray blue but it's going to have these beautiful um, fall colors moving into a winter sort of a winter theme okay with some greens because you may decide that you want your you want a Christmas book that's a Christmas winter book or you may just want a winter book right okay there's that um, and I've got some other ideas because look I've got some of this this is really pretty and this is like a brown um, cream color lace Right? can you guys see that that's really pretty I just got that not too long ago as if I need more stuff oh my god I don't need anything else but but I love having everything I have and I can always use more you know because you never know where your brains gonna go right so there's that and this 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 fabric here is you saw that it's pure linen right so it's got like it's like burlap and then I'm thinking, hold on to your horses. I've got some beautiful uh, Christmas fabrics that are not necessarily all Christmas themed. I mean, these could be Christmas. They could be fall season, you know, when you put them next to this. Now, these might be separate. I might try my best to slip in maybe this one into this winter collection this fall 
autumn season moving into winter collection. Um, but like this one, I, I don't think I would add that in there. I mean, I don't know. I got to think about it, guys. I got to think about it. So that's how my kits start. I'd love to know how you start your kits and what motivates you, what inspires you. For me, it's always been starting with one piece, one piece of something, right? Whether it's this beautiful piece of uh, uh, fabric that I found um, and thinking about how that might fit into a winter blue season. Um, and then this gorgeous teal fabric that I got from Carla. This gorgeous, so pretty. And then of course these laces and my great auntie's linen that I don't know where in the world and why she had that. Maybe she, I don't know why she had that. I wish I knew. That sucks, but I don't know why. Maybe she was going to make pillows with it because she sewed everything like everything she made my mom's wedding dress all of that stuff everything um and then this of course was very inspirational and i was so happy that i re-remembered re um re-remembered yes i'm using that um i re-remembered that i had this okay so there's that and i might put in some Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to definitely put in some of, of, of Sophia's, that big-ass ledger book <laughs> that she sent me. Oh, my God. I'm going to put some of those pages in here, too. Oh, my goodness. And then, finally, before I go, because I'm really uh, uh, strapped for time, guys. Isn't that a pretty little collection? Again, if you're thinking about moving from fall into winter, it's just going to be so pretty. And try your hands the next time you soak your black beans and you make your own black beans. Like, my husband and I, we cook everything at home. We, we don't, I don't hardly have anything in a can. Like, the only stuff I have that I use from a can might be tomato paste or um, vinegar peppers. And I could make my own vinegar peppers or sometimes corn corn but usually if I'm making a caldo like a caldo de pollo or chicken soup or um, caldo de res which is a soup with um, a, a little bit of well red meat in it and so if I'm ever making that which I haven't because my husband and I we're like on meat and off meat and we've been off meat for a long time now but that doesn't mean we're not doing fish and chicken because I'm a fish. I love fish. I could eat fish every day. Every day. And God forbid if it's fried. Oh my God. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. <laughs> because, because I love everything fried. That's my weakness. My husband's weakness is sugar. And my sister's weakness is sugar. Mine is fried foods and grease. Which is terrible. But anyway, we're not going to go there. I've already went there. But now I'm going to try and backtrack. Anyway, so um, if the next time you, you soak your beans, because I make my beans from scratch, your black beans, keep the, the dye and use that paper. Um, and I'll put a little note on there for whomever gets this, that this is dyed with beans. Um, but it, it smells pretty okay. It smells pretty good. Um, and then this is a stack of, um, I found this stack of, big stack of, cabinet cards and so I'm going to tell you guys what I plan to do with these okay okay guys and then this is a little bit more progress just to show you so so far I have those but I decided to add in these pretty well this was the dilemma this is so beautiful and it's hand sewn it's got the pretty um you know, fall color flowers and these blue roses. And, you know, somebody would say, well, that's for springtime. Well, maybe, but, you know, they're fla they're winter flowers. Can anybody name winter flowers? What's your favorite winter flower? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, this was a dilemma. So, I couldn't put this in one without the other. So, then I went to my stash. And I pulled out these old pretty um, cream color with this gray moody you know highlight around these flowers and designs and motifs and then here's this one 
Do you guys see that? So there's that part. And then I added in this lady on one because of the way she's dressed. Love her her hat. It almost looks like a sombrero for a woman. Um, but I love this sort of militant, these buttons here. And she's really buttoned all the way up to the neck. But I'm not going to play on the idea of the mythology of wholesome. Wholesome cannot be trusted. <laughs> oh my God. That's why Emmett Till is not with us, people. We're not going to go with wholesome. She just looks like a woman that is fashionable, beautiful. That's it. No one's wholesome. And then here, these little kids, look at her. Oh my God. Isn't she adorable? She's so cute. She looks like a little flower. And, and I love her hand um, here by, um, I would assume her brother, maybe a cousin or something. I don't know. Anyway, look at the furniture. So I put those two of the cabinet cards. I'll show you guys. I'll give a rundown of the cabinet cards maybe next weekend if I have time because I'm already starting um, with grading season, that part of the semester already. Ah! <laughs> so I don't know if I'll have time. I just snatched some time today. I, I, I just, I had to have it. Um, and so these are really nice. This is 1891. There's the back. And this one says... Um, I don't know about 14 I guess they're talking about the age of this young woman she looks older than 14 to me dang um, anyway so um, what else is I can tell you quickly so I'll give you guys a rundown of cabinet cards there might be one in there that you want specifically and you can holler at me or you know DM me <laughs> that kind of thing um, I also added in some of this Chinese braid because I think it is wintry blue. And this is how my mind works. This is how I've always worked in terms of putting kits together. Just like this, what I'm showing you. Um, and here are some fabric cuts, uh, cutoffs. And you'll have to forgive the noise in the background. Um, it, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, there's that. Um, and then, uh, of course, I will add in some of my snippet uh, pins because I think those are, those will be really pretty. And these, the red ones, they definitely will pull out this here, these little pieces of color here. But I think those would be like a pow for Christmas, right? So there's some yellow tatting I added in there. Um, and some of those are have gone out and are going out into Happy Mail. So, okay, the last thing I want to say, and then i got to cut it, guys. Or I'm, my time is going really fast these days. So this I'm going to put back. I'm going to save that for something else. It's so pretty. Or, or, I could totally cut it in half and divide it out between the two. What do you guys think? Does it go? Does it go? Does it go? I don't know maybe we'll see what happens i'll let you guys know okay um and so yeah if i do some i'm pretty sure i'm going to do a ton more i've got so many ideas for these two. Oh, okay this is what i wanted to say um i'm still sending out happy mail it's slow but it's definitely going out and i'm thinking about putting some packs like these um together for my um, international happy meals. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And they might not be exactly like this color scheme, but you know, something like this. I'm working on it. I gotta think about these things, guys. I'm thinking. <laughs> and it helps when people, well, when I have time, I don't have time to watch any videos now, but it helps when artists uh, mention, you know, things that you like, you know, for all of us, not just for me, but for everybody you know what what you like what you're missing what's missing in your stash what you can't find in a store or a thrift store um, because I, I'm telling you between Tahira and Sophia I am still I'm just I'm way up somewhere in space still, <laughs> still. I'm still there I think I live there <laughs> I've been there for a long time from some of the other gifts uh, ladies have sent me and so I'm just there Space is my home. <laughs> okay. Anyway, bye. I may be back or not. I don't know. But bye for now. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is so off the cuff. 
this is how my junk journaling kits have always come together. It's just how how I how I do it. I've always done it. Um, so okay, so I put in a cabinet card. I went ahead and cut up this beautiful um, linen hanky. There's that, and look at the contrasting of the colors. You guys aren't gonna see it real all that great. And then I'm gonna put in some junk. But these magazines are whole because if you know me by now, you know that I always have to have some kind of junk in my kits. Repurpose, recycle. There's an apple in here somewhere that might be cute in these kits. If you decide to do a book out of them, will you? If I can find it, will I? There it is. Love. <laughs> Okay, and there's a snowman. So I haven't, I haven't a bunch, but I haven't finished this part yet. Then that one came in a package with this one, but I'm not putting that one in there because I don't like it. I don't like it. Although I have allergies. Ugh. Anyway, okay, so I put in some vintage music papers. I added that. And then look, this is why I turned the camera on again because. I have this old, I think I've shown, I've shown you guys this before, this old blue, stormy winter blue, beautiful um, stationery. Look how yellowy it is. It's already yellowy. It's got all kinds of yellowing on it. And this is really pretty good paper too. There's the Montag's uh, Sheer Light is what that says, but you see the lines through there? Can you see it? Can you see it? That's good stuff, guys. So I'm putting several sheets of that. And it's a pretty light but gray blue. Everything is gray, blue, dark blue, stormy blue, storm blue, tornado blue, and then teals. And this paper, you're not going to see it like I do, but it's a pretty teal paper. Just ignore him right now. I'm, I'm working, on, <laughs> working on that book. Don't pay attention to him. He's showing out. Okay. And then I had this in my stash. It's an old exercise book. And when you open it up, look. Look at the paper. <laughs> I love this. It's so cool. Some pages are ripped out. I didn't do that. Whoever had it before me did it. But when I see paper like this, mm -mm 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 -mm. love it. Totally forgot I had it. <laughs> but anyway, some of this is going in there. And it's this pretty green, cream, vintage teal green with this really pretty pink line. So some of that's going in here. And I have to channel this. I, okay, I'm not going to say it again. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed <laughs> with paper in here. I love it. Love it. Anyway, okay, so... And then I'm going to, this guy, I don't know what he's doing, but I have to take these out. And that's from that book. So I'm going to put some woodland pieces in here because, and here's why. You may decide that you want to turn these kits into Christmas, winter, fall, um, woodland, Christmas, you know, uh, squirrels in snow. I don't know. It's whatever you want to do with it. And the cabinet cards I chose are really cute because the way they're dressed, I think it's winter time. Look at his little stockings, his little hosiery. And then she's really buckled up really good. And then this lady I showed you guys already. So I'm, I'm just thinking, guys, this is how my kits come together. I put some fun bingo in here because maybe you want to add some orange, blue, you want to collage. Maybe you want to pick out um, a specific number, right? It might be difficult with bingo to pick out um, numbers of the month because, you know, bingo is bingo, right? But there are some days in here that might work for October, November, December, right? Even winter January, okay? January, February. For us, we have winter all the way up to February, but, you know, Texas is its own. We're like, we're on another planet. <laughs> I swear to God. It's so funny hearing people talk about the weather changing and the weather changing. Oh my God, come to Texas 
asked somebody who came to the Super Bowl here between um, the Cheeseheads, Green Bay Packers, and some other team. And Green Bay, guys, they're like the snow superheroes. They can handle any snow, right? When they came to Texas, they got snow, rain, sunshine, cold, and humid. <laughs> all in one weekend I swear I kid you not look it up google it <laughs> I never will forget that anyway okay so yeah Texas is its own planet I swear to god it really is so anyway maybe that's my eclectic view of things here and then I also put in some of these pretty uh, papers here this looks sort of Florentine like and then these pretty and then you guys can use these you know sparingly or however you will but I think they go really well the teals and the greens can you guys see what I'm doing can you see can you see can you see where I'm going I am NOT a junk journal maker I just supply supplies right and I'll always say that that's all I am I'm not gonna ever make journals to sell never ever and so you know, my brain kind of works like this when I'm putting together kits. That's how I started this whole fad. Anyway, there's green. That's a dark green. That's kind of like a forest green. You guys won't be able to see it on, on the screen. And this one is a little bit different. It's almost like a... This is more like a spearmint green. And this is more like a... What kind of green is that? I don't know. It's kind of a matte green. And then this is more like a lime kind of green. And there's some plaid. I always forget that. I can't believe it. My great grandmother wore dresses out of plaid a lot. Thin, cotton, comfortable plaid. She was a domestic worker too. And a seamstress, by the way. <laughs> seamstress first, a domestic. She had a side hustle. Like Etsy is my side hustle. That was my great grandmother's side hustle. She was a domestic worker, right? And then here are some be beautiful um, florals. Now I put this in here because can we say that those are winter berries? I mean, come on now. It's pushing it. We're pushing it with flowers in winter. But there are winter flowers. Somebody please name winter flowers. If you put this next to there, there we go. See that? Winter berries, blues, teals. It's working. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's got to work. It's got to work. Okay? So these are pattern papers, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I do not shop and buy new stuff at, you know, mass stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, um, what else, who else, uh, you know, I just don't. I support resale, thrift, I support, um, obviously, flea markets. And estate sales I want everything to be left over so that I can't find this anywhere I'm never gonna find this image again me personally you guys might I'm I won't find it again and that's the original I probably could go on eBay and find this and I love eBay I don't shop very often at eBay I think I the last thing I bought was my plastic you know these things this stuff that's what I buy on eBay or I might buy my mom some peanuts for all her porcelain stuff in her china and all that hoity-toity uppity stuff um, but I like to support I find my papers either they're gifted to me thank you Dolores <laughs> because she gave me a lot of old not old unused paper that she would not she wasn't gonna use anymore and then some of this I have had for a long time that I scored in thrift stores. I love to, my whole thing guys is I love to repurpose, recycle, all of us do for the most part. Just go watch Gina at the Rebookery. That'll blow your freaking mind. <laughs> if you want to talk about repurpose and recycle, go watch uh, Rosemary. Go watch um, Carla Frizzell. Go watch, um, most of us like that kind of stuff, but I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with buying this kind of stuff in the store new because sometimes that's the only option that that um, an, an artist may have, um, and especially for newbies, 
people who are new to the junk journaling com community it's good but shop local you know do some Etsy shopping with somebody who's doing paper packs um, the beautiful part about that kind of shopping is that one the price you get a lot for your money for the most part I hope so let me just speak for myself and there's a couple ladies I can vouch for but in all honesty it's so much fun because you're not gonna find that one original paper in Michaels so where everybody is is using the same paper pad everybody's using the same this everybody's using the same that when you shop local and handmade and you get a lot of difference right you get pieces that are very different and unlike anything else um, anyone else will use and and I'm not saying that's a uh, not a great thing I think it's awesome you know but it's also cool to to do something a little bit different and and don't be afraid to try new ideas um, make sure you give yourself some kind of hashtag if you try new ideas because Lord knows it's a lot of vultures out there <laughs> next thing you know your new idea be like you know someone made a bunch of money off of your idea and never said one iota of thank you or nothing <laughs> Oh my goodness so yeah keep your new ideas you know under wraps and then when you release them this is just word of advice for me and I've been around the block here for a while um, give yourself some kind of hashtag and hopefully if someone you know and you will inspire other people and if that happens hopefully they're respectful enough and um, you know and as one wise 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 woman first told me early on when I first started this community Shannon Green and the word decorum when she says that's not good decorum and I'm pretty sure she'll remember that because I used to when I first started to peddle my junk journaling supplies and I was the only one doing it for the most part I was the only one in my kind of junk journaling supplies it wasn't a really big thing I would just go and bum rush everybody's channel and throw in my link to my Etsy store and one um, one oh my gosh privileged moment Shannon and I Shannon Green <laughs> and I she's like I told her I said oh my gosh I'm trying to get my supplies out there how do I do it what do I do I want everybody to see what I got I got a lot of stuff and I said and yeah I've been bum rushing people's channels with my link to my Etsy store and she goes yeah that's probably not the best decorum that's probably not good decorum <laughs> oh my gosh and life changed for me after that thank you Shannon I love you girl goddess she's a goddess to me always will be <laughs> always will be <laughs> oh my gosh so okay anyway so this is my idea of putting together a junk journaling kit this is how it goes for me I would love to see how you do yours and how your kids come together I'm not done with this but I gotta stop because I have schoolwork to do and um, I will come back and finish this these two kits will be in my Etsy shop sometime soon and I'm gonna title them you know something relative to these pictures but they're 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 the same I mean you can the, the beautiful part and the reason why I was doing this what inspired me to do this is to show you how the you know how uh, similar um, kits tend to be for the most part okay and why I don't buy brand new paper for my junk journaling kits I just find this stuff it's left over from people not wanting it in thrift stores um, I have not found any of this lately though I, I just can tell you that right now every now and then when my mom and I go to a um, an estate sale there will be there will be um, someone who is a crafter or a, a wife who is a crafter oh and wait let me show you guys something hold on I'm gonna add some of my avocado dye look at this pretty piece of avocado dye isn't that beautiful look at how pretty that came out and my avocado dyeing fabric um, usually comes out it always comes out so pretty but I love that this is rustic it reminds me of Rosemary Morris's style I never heard of anybody's dyeing with rust before 
she's like, you know, I don't need to say what she, she's the queen of anything. She knows what she is. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, this is what that reminded me of. And I was like, ooh, that almost looks like some Rosemary Morris rustic but this is avocado okay and there's so many artists um who die with avocado laura at laughing dogs book nook i think she does a lot of avocado dyeing um fabric and paper and all of that so you can check her out too and this is another piece that i found at a resale shop last week week before last on my way home from classes so I'm teaching at home, but I'm teaching predominantly uh, throughout the week virtually. So I'm on I'm off I'm on campus two days a week and off campus three days a week. So and it's been going pretty pretty good so far. We had a little scare there for a moment with one student, but it turns out he yeah he just ate the wrong stuff and wasn't feeling good. But they made him quarantine. <laughs> so, oh my God. Anyway. So I'm I'm putting oh I'm putting some of this in here because I think this rust color is really pretty with some of these little woodland animals. You can actually make this kit and turn this kit into a woodland theme um, journal if you chose to. I don't know what you would do with the people, right? But you could probably use them in something else. Okay, I better go, guys. I've talked enough and I got too much to do. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Adios, sale pues, órale pues.